What's up, ladies and dudes? It's Jeremy, one of your very favorite persons with Parkinson's. That's right, I said plural because there's probably more than one person that you know that has Parkinson's that you would consider to be your favorite. I am honored to be anywhere on your top ten list. Top five, maybe. Tied for first. All right, the reason I am coming to you today from my Star Wars-filled bunker here is because I, that's right, Jeremy McDonald, has covid Getting over it, I was one of the lucky ones. I have, have I had not had COVID for the last two years, or however long this Rona crap has been going on. <clears throat> See, I'm kind of kind of congested. I avoided it for a long time, but my 10 year old son came home from school. Daddy, I don't feel well, and I was like, Well, it's probably not COVID. Well, it was COVID, so now I'm kind of in isolation here, kind of towards the tail end of it. But I'm just going to tell you exactly what it did to my Parkinson's. Because, as you know, the COVID can get into your brain and make your brain do weird things. Lose your sense of smell, stuff like that. I, I have not lost my sense of smell. But one of the things that it, that it did was it made my medicine, and it still makes my medicine, kind of weirdly unpredictable. Even more so than normal. I, I had a fever one night, and I had taken some extended release cinnamon, which I do from time to time, depending on how stiff I am when I go to bed. It, it, it can keep your muscles loose. Well, I took the usual amount I always take, and I could not stop my legs from spazzing out. They were wiggling, jerking, spazzing all over the place. This went on for hours. And I'm going to chalk that up to the, the fever brain of COVID. Never really had that reaction before. I had to crawl to the bathroom. It was very, very unpleasant. While I'm delirious, uh, I had this horrible Christian heavy metal song from my childhood playing over and over and over and over and over again in my head. It was like it was torture. That was probably the worst night. Um, it, it obviously got better from there, but I would just say that the fever, I mean, it's probably the same for any fever, but the COVID fever, I don't know. It was just a weird, weird feeling. And I ended up, the reason I found out I had COVID is because I started to get an ear infection. My ears started getting clogged up. I'm like, well, we, get, we need to go deal with this. So my wife took me up to urgent care. It was, zero, it was zero degrees at the time. And my son nearly tipped me out of my wheelchair into the snow, which was, I'm sure if people were watching, it was maybe funny, but it wasn't funny at the time. So we go up there and uh, I just said, give me, the, give me the test. Came back, you've got COVID. Well, that explained a lot. Then my wife had actually gotten sick a couple, a couple days earlier. So yeah, it's been a hellacious Christmas. Now, there's some been some good moment, there's some good moments, but it's been stressful as hell. But I, I appear to be coming out of the woods. My ear infection is doing better. I got some antibiotics, so I'm, I'm doing better on that on that side. And basically, just telling you this, Corona stuff is no joke. I mean, I'm sure you, you probably know better than me. It just wears you down. And one of the things that one of the other things I noticed, I, I've been so stiff in the middle of the night, I haven't been able to roll over. Now that's can happen from time to time, but this COVID has made it even worse. Um, I am thankful it's almost over, but yeah, so there you go. There's my COVID Parkinson's experience. Hopefully you guys don't get it. Hopefully you guys are staying safe and warm this holiday season. Until next time, peace and love from the snowy city of St. Louis.